Welcome back. This is a unplanned filming. As you well know, if you ever looked at my back catalogue of videos, I did a review on uh, Axminster 6 inch bench grinder unboxing and first impressions, that sort of thing. Uh, I wanted it for my lathe for grinding my tools. Uh, since then I've gone on to buying the Sorby Pro Edge, which I'm very happy with. But I've found a need occasionally for using the bench grinder. Uh, but the worst thing on this bench grinder is the torque rests. They are useless, completely and utterly useless as they are. They've got no swivel, no movement, no nothing. I thought I would go making some tourists that were useful at least and would tilt to a set angle or whatever. So this is my attempt at modifying what I've already got into something that will hopefully be of use. So I thought I'd bring you along with this one. Hopefully it is of some use or benefit to somebody. Only time will tell, but here we go. All right, so this is the offending item the uh, expensive six inch bench grinder. Now I've already taken off the tool rests. As you can see, they're just affixed uh, with very little movement and there's no use at all. You couldn't do much else with them. So I've, I've got some aluminium. Uh, I think that's 25 square. I couldn't even tell you what size that is. Looks like about a two inch or 60 mil square, something like that, 10 mil thick, three eighths. So what I'm hoping to be able to do, as you can see, possibly, all right, just there. I've been having to play and think about where I want to do things. And the plan is, uh, I'm gonna slice that off and I just have one screw in here. In, I don't know whether you, you probably won't be able to see, but in here, there are actually two screws. Now I'm just gonna use one, sort of like that. Imagine if this has been chopped off, and then that will rotate with that being fixed to it also. So I have just cut that off as you've seen. I'm just gonna have a go at the first one, um, drill some holes, make a slot or a new slot to see what we get. I can do the other one differently and maybe adjust this one or make a new bracket or something. But hopefully you can just, sorry. Then we get just the back, possibly see. Yeah. Not very clearly, I'm afraid. But uh, I will drill these out and uh, put a slot in it, and then we'll see where we are from there. So I'll be back. So I'm back, and we have that. It's not very pretty, but it should do the trick. I think if I've got it in the right place. I had a few problems trying to decide how best to chop it out. I tried a Dremel. Yeah, it sort of works. But probably if you've got a blade in a, a metal blade in a jigsaw or scroll saw or even a coping saw maybe. Might have done the trick, but I haven't got one, so I'm not gonna buy one. So we've got there. It's like I said, not pretty but it should give us an idea. So now to uh, attaching the block. So, see you in a minute. So I have uh, carried on and put some holes in, tapped on them, whatever. And what we've now got is that. And I've also carried on and fixed that with two M6 screws. 
but that was that was hole two. Let's have a go. And there is just, I've just plugged that just so I don't use that for anything else, uh, and it works relatively well. So let me just move the camera, and I will show you what I'm on about. So I fixed our bracket and this is just <laughs> this is just a, a an M8 bolt glued in to a plastic cap so now you have Do this screw up or hex head bolt, and we have that. And I can actually turn it, move it in, and put it back again. It has its certain limitations, but I think for what I'm planning to use it for, and for the tools I'm planning to sharpen, i.e., uh, wood turning scrapers. I should be okay. So now what I'm going to do is I will off camera again do the heat white wheel do the white wheel and uh, I'll bring you back and hopefully we can we should be finished by then. So it just gives you an all an idea of uh, how reasonably simple the modification can be. What you've seen is probably at least version 2. I did make this idea, which is all in wood. It worked to a point, but what I didn't like was, was this flexing. Uh, it was just a knock up and then it's, it's held via a little thumb screw with a insert on the wooden base of the uh, grinder yeah it works to a point I'm not overly happy with it it was a bit clunky uh, and then when I realized that I could use the uh, steel plates on the side that were already bolted to the grinder it just seemed to make more sense but it's another alternative some if somebody else wants to go that way instead a bit of wood we've all got plenty of wood to play with so you can always make it and see what you like or what don't like just another thought and alternative and by the magic of video and YouTube I've got the other one finished as well so they work nicely one thing that I will make a point of I noticed is that you have to sort of set the height roughly to about the centre height of the wheel uh, if you're only using one screw um, but yeah it works quite well uh, it's already on so <laughs> It might not be all that pretty, but it works. I can show you on this side. Ooh. If you went, if you set your angle, one thing I am finding is that as I'm tightening this, it's just pulling it in a little bit, so you have to sort of allow for it. But just then doing the hex nut there and sliding it in. I'm not setting it at any particular angle, I'm just sort of showing what can be done. I think one thing that I will do at a later date is put an angle on this front edge here to sort of 
so I can get in a bit nearer um, but yeah it seems to work quite well um, so hopefully this is of some benefit or use to somebody I think it should be or at least point them in the right direction but uh, I think it works quite well and it's cost me nothing which we all like that one thanks for watching hope you enjoy and uh, would consider subscribing if you haven't already it all helps maybe even share the video uh, much appreciate you watching thanks very much take care cheers Jeff yeah.